No product is really better than the materials it is made of. And in the materials world, there is really just one player that everyone is talking about, and that is graphene. In the news, they really like to call graphene the wonder material of the 21st century. Graphene really is a prodigy. It has everything you can imagine. It combines the best properties of all other materials. It is a material that is very flexible. It's super lightweight, yet it's ultra strong and highly conductive, both electrically and thermally. If we could look in and see the atoms in this material, then the atoms that were next to Max's hand would be vibrating very quickly. And because of this highly ordered structure, one atom would then bump into the next atom and would transfer these vibrations straight down the material really quickly, transferring this energy to the ice cube. Now, all I'm going to do... I'm not even going to apply much pressure. That is the weirdest thing. This is just sliding through like a knife through butter. Oh, oh wow. Oh, this is the so scientists that first isolated graphene and found its properties were very amazed. They thought, wow, we're going to have to share this with the world. And then the world rewarded them with giving them the Nobel Prize in 2010. So what is graphene? It's a single layer of carbon arranged in a honeycomb structure. Graphene is a two-dimensional material. And that may not be exciting to you because you're so used to two-dimensional things like prints and graphs. But really, nothing is two-dimensional. Everything has three dimensions. And that's really what makes graphene extremely special and also difficult to make as well. Yeah, it, it has been mass produced. So a couple of years ago, it was a big challenge, but currently, uh, currently people can produce it in, uh, in liters, maybe in kilograms already. And there are pieces of graphene which are as large as uh, uh, one square meter, so there is not a problem. We continue in our lab, we continue working with small pieces of graphene, but it's more than enough to study fundamental physics and proof of concept devices. But industry has already developed uh, ways of mass production. It's no longer a problem. Physicists from Kansas State University may have found a way to mass produce graphene cheaply. And all it takes is three easy steps that use three simple materials. Hydrogen carbon gas, oxygen, and a spark plug. Graphene is a very good chemical barrier. Well, it is a single atom layer of carbon. It's impermeable, including moisture and air. So then I guess it's possible that we could make coatings out of it uh, to prevent corrosion. You do know that the cost of corrosion is very massive. Even the main reason why bridges still collapse. The list of graphene's commercial application is a vast one. And it ranges from flexible smartphone screens to artificial retinas. Graphene could lead to faster charging batteries for electric vehicles or airplanes. Also, I'd like to add something that is pretty cool. And this is already in the market. This is paint that can heat. You can spray or brush this paint on literally any surface and connect it to a low voltage. It's efficient at heating. There are more applications for graphene than we can get to in this video. It is a foregone conclusion that graphene will be incredibly important in shaping the face of modern technology.